Hello, I'm Michael. I'm Cheryl. And, and we're... Welcome. I thought it was we are. I thought you said welcome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. And I... Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Cheryl. And, and we welcome. are... <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Cheryl. And, and welcome, welcome to, to A, a Life, Life in, in Between. between. does to cook in here I've got some smoked turkey necks I'm about to release the pressure um, which has been sitting for 17 minutes I let it cook for 45 minutes off camera and this is what it looks like so I'm gonna um, get those out but before I do um, this is just like our little marinade I have like two sticks of butter in here and I'm about to add some garlic and some old bay. Um, probably gonna do about. Let me. I'm gonna see what two tablespoons looks like. Um, because I have like all of these shrimp to do, um, and I'm just trying to coat it. But I'm still gonna probably add more butter when it starts to cook. So. So I just put one um, tablespoon in there for right now because it's pretty potent. And um, next I'm going to, in the pan, I'm going to put the sausage, the Koneka sausages, um, the corn, and the potatoes. And the potatoes, I did let them sit for a minute in the um, water vinegar mixture and um, rinse those thoroughly. Anytime you're dealing with produce and stuff like that, and with these, um, I'm leaving the whole, you know, the skin on. So it's good to go to make sure they're extra clean. So I'm about to um, take the turkey necks out so they can get some of the marinade and um, I'll come right back. The turkey necks out. Probably should have used some tongs. So these are ready and they're gonna go in the marinade as well. All right guys, so as you can see, I've got the turkey necks out. I'm not going to shred them or anything right now because um, I'm going to pop them back in eventually. So I've got my mixture. Um, can you see? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to pour it over. I'm going to not use all of it, just some of it. All the goodness is at the bottom. Cause I want to save some for um, the shrimp to like coat in. Now I'm just gonna get in with. I have gloves on because number one, these turkey necks are hot. But I may have to just make more of the marinade. Um, marinade. Michael's recording. Say hello. Hola. So. Uh. I just don't want my face on camera today. I don't feel good. And I'm going to show y'all why in about two seconds. No, you're not. I feel so bad today. 
So as you can see, I'm just making sure that like each piece can try to get like some of the marinade. It doesn't have to be exact because mm -hmm. I'm going to be adding a little bit more butter inside of the actual Instant Pot. Um, and what we're going to do is reserve some of the uh, juices that were from the uh, turkey necks. You said Instant Pot. That's what it's called, an instant pot. I thought it was insta without the T. I it. just was saying insta for so long, but it's instant. Really? All right, that's done. Let me drain some of the um, the drippings from the smoked turkey necks. But you can see after 45 minutes, it literally pulls straight apart. Like you don't have to cook them for hours um, on end. This, uh, once it gets in the Instapot, it takes a total of like cook time of six minutes. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I took a lot of the liquid out. I did sprinkle a little bit more of the Old Bay um, over the top. So really right now I'm just gonna focus on making sure the um, corn and potatoes and sausage are in there i'm not really concerned about the um, smoked turkey necks i can do those uh in a little bit do you want me to shred it so my husband wants everything whole he doesn't want it um broke apart i'm just trying to see how much room because there is a fill line but as long as the lid closes, it's pretty well, you know, you'll be okay. So the um, recipe, it, it does say uh, this will go in for five minutes. Um, but it may take a, you know, it'll be five minutes, I know, for this. You got a hole right over there that you can put some stuff in. I'll put these back in. Well, right on top, Because the shrimp will be the very last thing. Um, to go in and you can see all of this goodness inside of here is going to go over the top <laughs> The seasoning is too strong for him And he did cover his mouth so don't come for me. We ain't those people Okay, so the lid is on We are going to be in seal mode and I'm going to put it on manual for five minutes and it'll take about a good 10 minutes to come to pressure it may not take as long because of the turkey necks just coming out but um it's on five minutes and the shrimp i've changed gloves this is my second set of gloves i'm about to get a third set so i did put the remainder um that i had on there and um, a little bit, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Old Bay. I don't wanna overpower because you guys know Old Bay is like super uh, spicy and Michael and Easter doesn't really, you know, they don't do spicy like that. So I'm gonna mix this up once I get my other pair of gloves on and um, I'm gonna add more butter once I add the shrimp in um, at the end. Okay, while that that builds pressure, I'm gonna um, clean up what I just messed up. Um, the thing with cooking, clean as you go, as if at all possible, if you feel up to it. All right, guys. So inside, it's, it's the steam has already come for um, to build up pressure inside, and this will start to count down in a few minutes. Um, so one thing with the instant pot, you can cook a lot of stuff in quick, quick times. But you do have to account for the time that it takes to pressurize so this is taking about uh, about 10 to 12 minutes and so now it's counting down for the five minute mark and once that um, counts down I'll do a quick release um, not that means I can automatically take what the pressure come all the way out and then add the shrimp in for um, the one minute Okay guys, so it's done. I'm about to release the steam. Don't come over the thing. Stay back here. <laughs> you acting like it's a bomb. 
so we have to release the pressure. I turned the instant pot off while that happened. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. This takes a few minutes to depressurize. Um, about a good, like, 30 seconds to a minute um, for it all to come out. And you guys have seen me. You cannot open this thing, no matter how hard you try, until the pressure is out. You can let them see her because they've been asking about her, from her seizure. Okay. How can you see her over all this stuff on that counter? It's okay to go over there. Say hi. Hi. We're going to put you on video. Well. You feel better? Yeah. Everybody's been praying for you. You do, yeah. All right, guys. So it's pretty much almost out. It's starting to let you twist a little bit. And once you hear the steam, you don't hear it anymore as normally it was when it's ready. All right. So you can see, I'm gonna get a fork. So just by five minutes, it's fork tender, like it's ready. Except for I'm about to take the turkey necks out and add the shrimp and the shrimp will go in for a minute. And then I'm gonna add one more um, little half stick of butter. And you can kind of look at the, um, show them, the, the liquid, the broth that's made in there. So let me get my butter real quick. Just get a little half stick of butter and put in there for more flavor. And now we're gonna put the shrimp in. And the shrimp, like I said, literally a minute in, um, the shrimp will cook. I'm not gonna put all that liquid that it's made um, because there's plenty at the bottom. And when I get ready to pour um, it into the container, I'm going to pour all of that over on top. Uh -huh. All right, so I want to make sure we just get that nestled in there really good. Put this back on. All right, so got the lid back on, put it back on seal. And now I'm going to, it's already on off. I'm gonna put it on manual and put it literally for one minute. It will click back on, pressurize, which it will not take the whole 10 minutes to pressurize. And then it'll count down from that one minute mark. So while that is um, finishing up the last minute, um, one thing that we do is we dip our seafood, like our individual plates into uh, butter and vinegar, white vinegar. Um, we melt the butter and then you add like not even, a, I mean it could be about a, about a good um, tablespoon of vinegar and mix it. And if you guys have never done that with your seafood bowl, I promise you, you would not, not do it again if you try it. So um, I'm gonna melt this once I'm done because it only takes a few minutes in the microwave. Um, and I'll let you guys know what the finished product looks like. So while it's deep pressurizing, I'm gonna show you a couple things that Michael brought. He brought this little, um, like, hot plate, I think that's what you call it. A double burner. Um, the gas guy is coming on Tuesday to cap the gas off, and then we can actually go search for the stove. And he brought in electric griddle because we can't go to Whataburger every single day um, until this thing is fixed. So I just want to show you guys that. So this is a half a stick, not a whole lot. 
And then I'm gonna just pour in the vinegar if I can do it with one hand. I just eyeball it since it didn't really make a lot. And um, so pretty much we'll just like divvy this up. I know it's not a lot. I'll probably have to make a little bit more. Sometimes Michael does it and sometimes he doesn't uh, use it. So I'll just find out. And if I need to make more, I can. But pretty much I can just pour a little in a container and I just let my shrimp and meat or potatoes just sit in there for that moment. Um, and that's it. So it is done and depressurized. So let me show you guys. So you see the shrimp are all pretty and all done. So the best way for me to get this out, because right now I don't want all of the liquid to splatter everywhere, is to just spoon it off. So come around there. So I got the bigger um, pan because I just yeah. think that would have been better. And once I get a lot of it out, then I'll add some of the liquid. <laughs> All of it is in here. I'm not getting all of it in there. So this is the broth. I'm not putting all of it in here. He'll put it in there, but I'm not. Because it got to go in the refrigerator and everything else. So... And there you go. Six minutes. Seafood boil. And the instant pot.